In our next interview, we'll be talking with Peter from the documentation team. Can we start with uh, you introducing yourself? Tell us what what uh, company you work for and uh, your your OpenStack story. So, uh, so my name is Peter Kovács. I work on uh, well, I work for Reddit as a technical writer for the past uh, six years, and. Uh, uh, recently, I've been focusing on uh, upstream open state documentation. Uh, I'm now a PTL for the docs team for Green Cycle. Uh, so it's my new role in the community, attending the PTG here in Denver, uh, hosting the sessions. So that's what I've been doing recently. Uh, so, yeah. so tell us about Pike. What has happened in the documentation world in, in this release? So, so in Pi, we've seen a major change in the way we produce content, we deliver content, we maintain content. Basically, we lost uh, most of the core members that have uh, been contributing to open state documentation for the past few years, and uh, that, was, that was very unfortunate. So, we needed to find a way forward. Uh, basically, uh, we proposed and got approved the plan to migrate most of the documentation that was hosted in the OpenStack core docs with, in OpenStack menus over to project team repos with the idea that project teams will take care of the content going forward. They will be responsible to maintain and get it updated for each release and uh, basically all the content. While the documentation team uh, with much reduced numbers uh, in terms of team membership, will continue to provide assistance to the community in terms of documentation reviews, maintaining the documentation infrastructure, the published infrastructure, I mean. Uh, also working closely with the translation, translation team to make sure that the content stays translatable, uh, regardless of whether it is part of the docs core suite or the new content in project reviews. So as a casual contributor to the documentation, which is kind of where I am, um, one of the confusions that has come up is now, where do I go to edit this particular piece of documentation? Um, it, how, how are you addressing that with the, with the contributor community? So uh, I think it might be a bit confusing at first, but basically the easiest way to identify the source of the document is, uh, is to study the URL which tells you whether it is hosted in, <coughs> in the project repo or whether it's still hosted in the, in the, uh, in the core repository in the post-tech menus. So let's say the URL includes slash nova slash uh, install. It means that this is the new installation guide for nova, which is now hosted in, in the nova repository. So if you find a, an issue with the content, if you want to get the uh, content updated, let's say, and you should file back against the NOAA product and launchpad or start a you know, uh, review uh, against the NOAA uh, repository in Garrett. So that's the new workflow. And has this process worked well? Have the projects stepped up to provide the, the necessary documentation resources? So, so we've put a lot of effort into you know, making sure this is communicated uh, throughout the community and everyone understands, like, uh, the new content structure. Uh, we uh, created the docs pack uh, uh, that actually uh, provides a recommended or more like a required uh, documentation structure that each project team should uh, implement if they haven't done so. And here at, the, at PTG we actually work with a bunch of people from different projects, you know, answering their questions about what uh, they should do to be, to be sure that the, the content that they provide in their project repos gets uh, referenced from the doc side, that we have links, you know, uh, in the right places, that people can find the content actually at the standardized URLs. What still needs to be done? What's your focus in the Queen Cycle? So, uh, so for Queen Cycle, uh, 
at the highest level, we started uh, working on a vision document. We updated our mission statement. Uh, it's done. And uh, now, and the next step for us is to is to draft a, a vision statement that will uh, pretty much set the direction for the whole documentation project for the next cycle or two. Uh, so I hope to have that ready and share it with the community in a few weeks, let's say. Uh, and then uh, we will go from there. Uh, you know, we need to make sure that we have a working onboarding uh, process, that we are getting new contributors. Uh, this community still needs documentation writers, even if uh, I am pretty sure that most project teams, you know, have the capacity to, uh, to own their own content. I think we still need documentation writers in the community. So we need to, you know, get more people involved. And yeah, so that's like the highest level. And at the lower level, we will look into, you know, what to do with release notes, API docs, stuff like that, because we need to find people who will own this going forward especially the API side. So, uh, so there's lots of, you know, to do. So on our, on our, these people can have a look at the docs uh, interpad. You know, there are many action items. There are many open questions, but I think that uh, with the new vision document, I'm pretty sure that we will know what to do uh, in the next uh, year or so. And if you'll uh, email me the, the URL of that Etherpad. I'll put it in the, the description of this video. You'll see that down below the video on YouTube. Yeah. If people want to get involved with the documentation project, they, they start with that Etherpad. What other mailing list or IR Sheets channels should they be on? So we have a, we have a OpenStack-doc mailing list. Uh, I have to say that we also use the dash dev mailing list a lot for Product community communication because now that uh, project teams you know own a uh, lot more content than they used to, uh, it's important that you know when we talk about documentation, uh, we talk to the to the developers. So uh, yeah, so that's that's mailing list. Then we have an IRC channel, uh, OpenStack dash doc and Freno. Uh, that's basically the main communication channels we have. So yeah, meet us there. Thank you very much for your time and good luck in the rest of the meetings this week. Thank you. Thanks.